Hey, so the question arose, how do you get that cool reverb sound from the Anti Crumble video into a live set? And I've done it before, actually, with my Ruder Severhead music, which if you're not familiar with, you can also find on my profile here. Let's just listen to a few seconds of this song, uh, which I show demonstrates it pretty easily. I had a laptop on, on me with stay on stage with me. It's right there. So I was just playing and I had uh, basically through my uh, GT10 foot pedal into a USB into Ableton Live. And this was actually the live set I was using. All the audio files are missing now, uh, but the input still works. I just had a basic bass in uh, and it came in directly from my GT6 or GT10. Anything that has a USB output, I did a USB into my laptop running this live set and uh, then just send it to a reverb chain, which kind of looked like this. Really simple, filter delay. Uh, I had guitar rig in here too for, it had a crystallizer effect. So I can pop, pop that on and kind of. Hear that? So you can like milk a, like really few notes and just get really cool. Um, guitar rig had, what did it have on it? It had the crystal, it had like a bunch of delays. So I just kind of like fiddle around with a bunch of delays in here and kind of come up with that. I started with the crystalline, uh, plug, a uh, preset, a reverb after that. Again, you can see the shaping camel crusher, which is a free distortion plugin kind of threw that in there. Uh, and then EQ, this EQ curve will look familiar if you're, if you've watched my other video. Kind of just, and then I just sent a set. Up, I set up a send. If you can pop over here in the MIDI, I had a foot pedal. Um, where am I? Here I am, right here, bass in. I had a foot pedal set to my send and to the return on the reverb, so I could adjust how much of it I could. You could hear at any one time, so I could do it live. And this worked flawlessly live. There was no latency. <laughs> I'm really just using it as a reverb plugin. So I'm sending pure audio out and it's coming back in through my pedal. So zero latency. So that's how I do it live. Um, if you want any more questions, uh, if you want to take a look at another look at this um, uh, effect chain here, um, that's basically it down here. I'll snap a, you know, snap a screenshot of it or whatever and put it up on my website. All right, thanks.